want to talk about Prince Harry, Meghan Markle. So oh, okay. recently they had the whole, you know, they were being followed by the paparazzi. And chased. They, they said high okay. speed chased. chased. How I'm do you sorry. have a high speed chase in New York where all that traffic is? That's yeah. what everyone keeps saying. Can like, anybody move no, past there? I mean, uh, their words were they were uh, involved in a near catastrophic car chase. Okay. Which makes you think of, you know, Princess Diana. Right. Of course. That's of exactly course. what it brings you back to. Uh, and the paparazzi's like, all right, well, I'm nowhere near that. But my question is, okay, if you are being chased by somebody and and you cause an accident trying to flee from them, are you at fault as a personal injury lawyer? Well, I can tell I you, have a case? I would sue you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, you got to put it into context. So. Anytime something like that, let's say it happened in Oklahoma, take out the fact that it's celebrities and it's mm -hmm. happening in a congested area. Let's say it's here. Let's say you were being chased, you're going home, it's late at night, and you feel like somebody's following you. I think there's probably a lot of people listening that something similar to that has happened where you think somebody's chasing you. Do you have a right to flee? Okay, that's the first question. And then do you have a responsibility in doing that to others on the road to make sure that you protect them from harm? Because as a driver of your own car, mm -hmm. you have a duty under the law to maintain your car and operate in a safe manner in which you are not putting others at risk. So let's say you thought I was following you. You could be wrong. And you take off and you're going 100 miles an hour and you blow a red light and you hit somebody. You're absolutely going to be responsible. Let's say you're right and you blow a stop line at 100 miles an hour. You're absolutely going to be responsible. Wow. Now, will a jury take that into consideration in a civil litigation matter? The answer is probably. They're going to say that the person who initiated everything that put it into action is the person most responsible. doesn't mean you will be 0% at fault. It may mean that you are. It may mean that you're not. It's going to depend on what those 12 jurors do at the time. That's a different standard of care than the criminal side. Will the state decide to prosecute you criminally for blowing a stop sign at 100 miles an hour if you thought you were being chased. That's going to be up to the individual DA based on the individual circumstances. But your question was a civil litigation Civil litigation question is, are you responsible for the harm caused while fleeing somebody else? And the answer is going to be, it's going to come down to those 12 jurors, but will you be sued? Yes. You want to know why? Because the person that was injured is completely fault free, whoever mm. you hit. Oh, they did yeah. nothing wrong. Yeah. And so from their perspective, it's like the high-speed police chases. The police sometimes get sued for a death or an injury that's caused by the person the police are chasing, which is why police have rules in place that you don't initiate high-speed chases in certain areas because that person is going to go very fast. It's foreseeable somebody might be hurt, and the person that's hurt is fault-free. And they have a right to bring a claim against anybody for any percentage of fault they may have. So you may only be responsible for 1%, 5%, 50%. That would be based on what the jury decides to do. Now, we talked last week about, you know, you, your credibility comes from you would only take a case because you believe that right. the case could win. Would you take that kind of a case? <laughs> so you got to think about it from a personal injury trial lawyer's perspective. My job is people come to me often at the lowest of their low. They've been injured. They've been hurt. Somebody's been killed through no fault of their own. And they have a right to redress. They have a redress is a big word. They have a right to compensation or to you know, have those needs taken care of to the extent they're possible. My job is to maximize that recovery and obtain as much as possible for that person as far as the law will allow. And oftentimes that's limited by how much insurance is available because the average person doesn't have the money to pay that themselves. So if there was an insurance policy out there, I'm going to probably file a claim against everybody. Okay. Okay. In interesting perspective. Slow okay. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down. Slow, Slow down. Slow down. Be safe. That's Think right. about the person that you might hit. Okay.